Hi, I'm Elena Huffman from Supernatural Ugly Abaddon, and welcome to Family Talks. Hello, and we're here to talk about the most recent Vampire Diaries episode. Um, we're going to go back to doing skits uh, next week, I believe. So we'll have those interesting little snippets at the beginning now, soon. This episode was ridiculous. Oh, because like crazy. Yeah, every every Vampire Diaries episode always makes you want to like kill yourself, but it's it okay. either makes you want to kill yourself, laugh, cry, or do both, or all three. Or all. We find out that Bonnie and Damon are in some sort of time traveling Groundhog's Day limbo. And at the end of the episode we found out that they're, they're not, not alone! alone. Which is uh, creepy. What is going on? Oh my god. I literally just got chills thinking about it. Like oh no. if I knew that I died and I was in a place only with one other person and then I was doing a crossword puzzle, neither one of us did the last one that I couldn't figure out for three months. <laughs> And then it just fucking showed up there, I'd be like, nope. There have been a lot of opinions online, because we're looking online, making sure that we keep everything relevant, mm -hmm. um, of Damon and Bonnie getting together while no. stuck in this limbo. No. And I was always kind of like, you know what, that idea is pretty cute. No. But after this episode, I really don't think so. Because they established that they were friends. Because he was like, I understand how you feel. I miss them too. Not only that, but Damon's still thinking about Elena. Non-stop. Which leads us to Elena! What is she doing with her life? Getting rid of her memories of Damon. I've never been able to pick which brother she should be with. I liked her with Stefan. I liked her with Damon. I like them both. So this hurts like triple the usual and with me it was I like Stefan but I love Damon so reliving all of those moments was just like it hurts so good it, it's not healthy for Elena to get rid of her memory she should be fighting to find a way to bring him back it's so frustrating because if you love him this much and if you are going through all this despair over him being gone you'd think that you would you know do everything but how would you do feel back. how would you feel if the one person that was supposed to be looking for him helping you a didn't return any recalls b never contacted you and on top of that you found out that he gave up but that's the, that's the thing elena decided to stay behind and go to college and do all all of that stuff. Meanwhile, she left it up to Stefan to figure out how to bring them back and Caroline how to bring down the border. And then there's Jeremy, who is heartbreakingly paying Bonnie's cell phone bill so that he can leave her voicemails, telling her how mad he is that she died and like being able to hear her voice and just... <laughs> what the hell? I can't deal with that sorrow. <laughs> it's okay. It's so sad. It's okay. Jeremy's clearly not handling things much better than his sister. Not much better than me either. Stefan has completely decided to move on and we're finding out that he had some girl and he really he really I mean at least we know that he tried. But I do have to agree with Enzo's sentiment, which is a new thing that we found out. Enzo's looking for a way to bring Damon back. Thank God. I love Enzo! <sighs> okay. Stefan did try, but there was a line that Enzo said. You guys aren't really brothers, because if you were brothers, you wouldn't give up. That's basically the gist of what Enzo said. I wouldn't give up on you. I wouldn't give up on you either! Sister! Yes! <laughs> As a sibling. To somebody, I would never, if I knew there was an opportunity or some chance or some hope to bring my sibling back, despite how much sometimes I want to kill her, I would. I would find a way to do it. I would, de especially if I knew that it, that he got stuck on the other side <coughs> because he was trying to save us. Which is essentially what happened because Damon sacrificed himself at the last minute and then he ended up getting stuck somewhere. I would definitely do everything I can and the fact that, that Stefan gave up is so disheartening because it's something that I've never thought that he would do. Especially after what happened to him and having experienced Damon and Elena, Elena completely forgetting about them. Delena! You would think that he 
would remember what that feels like and not give up on his brother and still look for him. That brings us to Enzo also trying and kicking Stefan's ass for making Caroline Enzo cry. is acting more like like Damon's brother than Stefan is. I have okay. to agree. And I love Stefan and I have to agree that he's being very much not a brother to him. And not a best friend to Caroline either because that was such a When she big cried, move. I think my heart just completely shattered. Like the fact that he had been deleting all of her messages and not even listening to them and not listening to how freaking heartbroken she was. I wanna strangle him and be like, Enzo actually did kill him, but he doesn't actually die, so he comes back to life. Yeah. That's about everything that's happened so far and what we thought about it. And let us know what you guys thought about it. Um, question of the day. After having been threatened by Enzo to make his life miserable, do you think that Stefan's gonna actually, you know, continue to look for a way to bring back Damon and Bonnie? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and share with everybody. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. Peace out.